Hi, my name is Emma McDonald. I'm with Library Services in Mesquite ISD. I'm also a certified G Suite for Education trainer. This video offers a demonstration of how to easily switch between Chrome profiles on the Chrome browser. Are you experiencing issues where multiple people are all using the same device to log in and out of the online portal, Google Classroom, or Google Drive? Even though you've logged out of one account, is that same person's account showing up when you try to log into a different classroom or portal account? This is because the browser remembers the image of, a, of different pages accessed, so that it can pull up the information faster. This is called a cache, C-A-C-H-E. In addition, Google wants to be helpful, so AI is used to try to figure out which page or account you want to pull up based on the most frequent usage. This can cause a lot of confusion and frustration when multiple people are trying to access multiple Google accounts on the same computer. Luckily, there is a solution. You can create multiple Chrome profiles in the Chrome browser and switch between them. Each profile is completely separate from the others, so you don't see or share information with the other profiles. However, if you do this, you must make sure everyone in your family knows how to choose their profile and only uses their profile when logging into the portal, Google Drive, Google Classroom, or anything here. So let's take a look at how to switch between Chrome profiles. The first thing you want to do is click at the top right of the browser. This will only work in the Chrome browser. So if you are using Internet Explorer, Firefox, or any other browser, this solution will not help. At the top right, you should see a head and shoulders shadow icon. Click on that icon. A box should pop up. And at the bottom, you should see a plus add button. Click on that plus button. From here, you can add a person or a profile to the Chrome browser. Click Add Person. Type in that person's name and choose an icon. Click Add. In a minute, Chrome will show up a new tab. You will notice the icon that you chose up at the top right of the browser. This indicates you are setting up the new profile. Down below, you will see Get Started, Already a Chrome User, Sign In. You want to choose Already a Chrome User, Sign In. Click and a new box will pop up, prompting you for your email. Once you have entered that email, click Next. Now you will be prompted to enter your password. Once you have entered your password, click Next. If you have set up in advance any kind of recovery information, you want to go ahead and click Confirm. Otherwise, you may notice a box that shows up asking if you want to turn on sync. The answer to this is yes, I'm in. For Mesquite ISD accounts, at that point, another box will pop up asking if you want to link data. You do want to click on the link data box. What this does is it links the data from a Mesquite ISD account to your Chrome browser. All that means is that you are now able to access the portal, classroom, drive, all of those with your Mesquite ISD account for that profile. Now you'll look at the top right, and if you have set up an icon or a picture for your Mesquite ISD Google account, that picture will show here. Otherwise, it will show your initial of your first name. Now to switch between these Chrome profiles, simply click on this top picture. 
you'll notice there are two icons. The icon at the bottom is for your Google account. If you choose to sign out and sign in or add another account in this at this location, this will continue to cause confusion between different Google accounts. You want to make sure you are switching at the Chrome profile level, not the Google account level. Click on your Chrome profile and you'll see any other profiles that you have created. If you have multiple people in your household who each have their own Mesquite ISD Google account, or Mesquite ISD account, really, then you want to add that next person. Make sure everyone is added so each person in your family has their own Google Chrome profile. Then it's as easy as clicking on that next profile. So if I want to switch from my Hanby profile to Library Services, I simply click on that name and it takes me back to my Library Services profile. Click on the Chrome icon again and I can choose my personal profile. Click on that again and I can choose my work profile. So we have a variety of profiles that can be chosen in switching back and forth. Each one of these are completely separate entities from the other. Now, when you first start using different Chrome profiles, you may notice a little confusion still happening on the original, which is often labeled as person one. You can see this here, this profile here is listed as person two. After time, if everyone in the household continually only uses their own profile when on the computer, this should stop the confusion. You can speed it up slightly by clearing the cached images and files from the browser profile. To do this, click on the three dots, then choose More Tools, then choose Clear Browsing Data. When the box pops up, you will notice cached images and files. You may have additional boxes checked for browsing history, download history, cookies, and cached images, but for this purpose, you only need to clear your cached images and files. If you clear your cookies and other site data, any sites where your password has been saved, that will get rid of all of those saved passwords and you will have to log in again to any sites that have saved that information as a cookie. This can be a good idea if you have uh, different children in the family or different people on a computer who have been signing in and signing out of the portal or Google Classroom. Clearing the cookies may help that confusion as well. But just be aware that anything else on that profile, remember this has to be done on each profile, not just once, but every profile, really the original profile where these things were created uh, or where you were originally signing in and out. As always, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact your campus librarian, library services, or the instructional technology coaches.